www.classcap.com slash en slash tutor slash javi dash montalva learn languages while having fun please check out my website on the comments enjoy the video ok Sparta Delphi tus clonque tria opidos sum Sparta Delphi y también tus clon son tres ciudades exactly remember this que is the mm -hmm. same as et do you remember sí sí lo recuerdo vale duo opida greca et uno opidum romano Uh, dos ciudades griegas uh -huh. y una ciudad romana. Uh -huh. Okay, do you remember this is the neuter? Yeah, uh -huh. you have a for plural and um for singular. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, in Grecia et in Italia, magnus numerus opidorum est. En, en Grecia y en Italia uh -huh. hay muchas ciudades grandes. Ok. Orum, what is this? You remember? Um, ok, no. this is the genitive. Ok. Uh -huh. You remember uh -huh. about the genitive? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. So es we have two genitive. Típico. We have the singular uh -huh. and the uh -huh. plural. This is the plural. Okay, orum. Mm -hmm. So opidorum means of the cities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So magnum numerus, big number, right? Mm -hmm. Of cities. So, um, so this means in Greece and in Italy, there is a big number of cities. Yeah. And here you have the verb, yeah? Mm -hmm. Remember that this verb, es, to sunt, in the plural, could be the verb to be, or ser está en español. Mm -hmm. But it also means like, there exists, or there is, there are, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's carry on. In Galia est magnus numerus pluviorum. Mm -hmm. Try to start. Ah, uh, sí, entonces flu fluviorum es posesivo aquí, o es en, uh -huh. en, ese, en, en Francia. Uh, como que okay. los ríos pertenecen a Francia, o cómo sería? The other way around. <laughs> ah, ok. So, fluviorum comes from fluvius. So, of the river, of rivers, yeah? So, big number of rivers, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, in France, there is a big number of rivers, yes? Mm -hmm. You can use it. So, notice this, fluvi, fluviorum. Mm -hmm. These are the possessive, yeah, or genitive. Mm -hmm. So, fluvi would be of river. Fluviorum of the rivers, plural, yeah? Okay, let's try this one. Fluvi Galiae Magni Sunt. Los rios de Francia, mm -hmm. de, de Francia son grandes. Exactly. So in this case, Fluvi, okay, this one can be two different things. It could be the plural, mm -hmm. or it could be the possessive as well. So by the context, you can tell this is the plural. How do you know? By the verb. Yeah? The mm -hmm. verb is going to uh, help you with ambiguity. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Magnine sunt flui africae. Um, son grandes los rios africanos? There you are. 
You remember this ne is a way to ask, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is like a question mark in Latin. Mm -hmm. In Africa, unus fluvius magnus est. In Africa, hay un, un rio grande. Mm -hmm. Nilus. Keteri fluvi africae parvi sunt. Keteri. What is keteri? Keteri. Doesn't ring a bell? Tam, tambien? Is... Ovario? Ostro? Mm, Probably you know this expression. Etcetera mm -hmm. in et Italian. Et cetera, sí. yes. Ketera. Okay, ketera, or keteri, keterae, etc. This means others. Oh, okay. That's why et ketera means and others, literally, yeah? Mm -hmm. So keteri fluvi, other rivers, africae, African, mm -hmm. small r, yeah? Or r small, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, Y los otros ríos africanos son pequeños. Pequeños, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sudne magna insulae grecae. ¿Qué significa sudne? Ok, remember this is two words. So, sunt. Ah, oh, sí, son. No, son con ne. Es la pregunta, ¿no? Exactly. Son. Son grandes las islas griegas. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfecto. Mm -hmm. Creta et uboia dua insulae magnae sunt. Quetera insulae graecae sunt parvae. Uh, Creta y... Euboia, el, sí. Euboia, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Euboia. El poema mm -hmm. uh, son dos isolas mm -hmm. grandes, mm -hmm. otros, otros, uh, otras insulas griegas son pequeñas. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not so difficult, is it? Poco I mean, a poco. <laughs> paso a paso. Sí, está haciéndolo bastante bien. <laughs> vale. Uh, quiz es Cornelius. Es quién es Cornelius? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember this one has different form depending on if it's masculine. We're gonna see that later. Mm -hmm. Cornelius Dominus Romanus est. Uh, Cornelius es un hombre romano. Okay, Dominus. This term. Mm -hmm. Um, like it could be, it could be, mm -hmm. but when you talk about dominus or domina, we talk about citizen. Uh, okay. okay, remember in ancient times, mm -hmm. not everybody was considered a citizen, so you have what we call the citizen and then the slaves, mm -hmm. which we call in Latin servus, mm -hmm. the servant. Yeah, so in this case, this is like a citizen, a Roman citizen. Yeah. Julius et Cornelius duo domini romani sunt. Julius y Cornelius son dos ciudadanos romanos. Uh -huh. O señor, también se lo puede traducir como señor. señor. I don't know if you remember. In the Bible, for example, when we talk about Jesus Christ, we call him Dominus. It's like the Lord, yeah? Is that concept, yeah? So it depends on the context. In this case, we talk about a man or a citizen. Yeah? Medus non es servus Corneli. Medus non es servus Corneli. Medus no es el esclavo de Cornelius. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So again, this is the genitive of the possessive singular. Yeah? Medus servus Iuli est. Medus es el esclavo de Julius. Hmm? Exactly. Okay, do you remember how do you say uh, slave for a woman? It's, it's another word. Uh, uh, la primera letra. A. Hey. An... Uh... Okay, we call it anguila. 
Anquilai, Anquilai, is plural. This is a plural, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, servus, servi is a genitive or plural. Mm -hmm. Anquila, Anquilai. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ah, what was that? Ah, yes. This is a new word. Let's see. This one's a little bit tricky. Cuyo servus est medus? Como a quien o quien? De, de quien? De quien, de quien, sí. Mm -hmm. De quien es um, el esclavo, o oh, de quien es el esclavo? Okay. De, de quien quien es medus mm -hmm. esclavo. De quien es medus esclavo. Okay, cuyos would be the genitive of this quiz. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about possession, we use cuyos. It's like whose in English, yeah? Mm -hmm. Medus servus meus est. This one is very easy. Medus es el esclavo. Es, es mi esclavo. Exactly. Remember, you also have gender here. Meus, mea, meo, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like everything in Latin. Es nedavus servus tuus? Es davi tu esclavo? Mm -hmm. Davus quoque? Quoque servus meus est. Uh, okay. También, ta, mm -hmm. también es, es, es también mi esclavo. Mm -hmm. Ok, servi, mei, sunt, medus, et daus, et ceteri, multi. Mm, mis esclavos mm -hmm. son medus y David y muchos otros. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Es Nedelia Anquila tua? Es Delia tu esclava? Es Nedelia Anquila tua? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Julius, Delia es Anquila mea? Es Sura, ¿cuál que Anquila mea es? Un, un momento, estoy abriendo mm -hmm. la página. 80 okay. y. Oh no. 16, creo que era, ¿no? Ah, sí. Mm -hmm. 16, ah, oh, ok, perfecto. Delia es mi esclava uh -huh. y Sira también es también uh -huh. mi esclava. Uh -huh. Anquilae, meae, son Delia y Sira, y que trae multae. Familia mea magna es... Delia y Sira y Sira y la, las otras son otras muchas son otras muchas son mis esclavos uh -huh. familia me es y mi familia es grande uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay so as you can see here they will consider the family as the whole thing uh -huh. so it could be the father mother the children and the slaves Mm -hmm. Will be also part of the family, yeah? As they will understand as family. Cornelius, what service sunt in familia tua? Uh, ¿Cuántos mm -hmm. los esclavos hay en tu familia? In familia mea sunt centum servit. En mi familia hay cien esclavos. Quid? Número servorum euro es centum. Can to serve it. Magno is numerous so reward to our. Um, yeah. so, ¿Cuántos? Y... No, quid is like what? Oh, okay. ¿Qué? Quid? Mm -hmm. Numero servoru me oro es kentum. It's a little bit tricky. El número de mis esclavos mm. es 100 o no sé. El sí, sí, sí. O el máximo mm -hmm. número. El número de mis esclavos. El número de mis esclavos es 100. No. So notice here we use the plural of possession. Mm -hmm. And this is an adjective that agrees with this. So it has the same ending. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So my, of my slaves. Servorum me oro. Ah, el número de mis esclavos es 100. Mm -hmm. Kentum servi. Magnu es numero servorum florum. Ok. This is easy, yeah? Mm. Cien esclavos. Es muy grande el número de tus esclavos. Exactly. 
Okay, so liber antiquus, liber novus. Here we have duo, so duo is two, yeah? duo libri. Okay, so we say unus liber, duo libri. Okay. Unus liber, duo libri. Exactly. Okay, this is a, a fancy word. This is like Italian, eccolo, or eccolo quattro. Ecce is like here it is, exactly, aquí tiene, or it's, it's like to show something. So, ecce duo libri latin. So, here you have two Latin books, mm -hmm. like showing this, yeah? It's the same words as in Latin, Italian. Mm -hmm. Italian, they also say this, ecce, or eccolo qua, yeah? Uh, liber antiquus e liber novus. Lingua latina es primus liber tus latinus. Titulus libri tui es lingua latina. Liber tus non antiquus sed novus est. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, aquí tienes dos libros latinos. Mm -hmm. eh, un, un libro antiguo y un libro nuevo. Mm -hmm. Uh, lingua latina es el primer, es tu primer libro latino. Mm -hmm. Y lo... ¿Título? El título de, mm -hmm. de, tus, oh, de tus libros, o los, no, el título. De tu libro, de tu, singular. Ah, oh, singular. Es ok, el, be careful. Duo libro. Because libri, ok, libri can be two things. Ah, it could be books, okay. or it could be of the book. Mm -hmm. How can you tell? Look at the verb, okay? Mm -hmm. yes. So here it's singular. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about one book, but I'm talking about the title of the book. Okay, Titus Libri Tui, the title of your book, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Liber tuos non antiquos. That's why it's very easy. Yeah? Sí, tu, so, que tu libro no es antiguo, sino nuevo. Uh -huh. Ok. In lingua latina sunt multa pagina e eh, multa capitula. En lingua latina hay muchas páginas y muchos capítulos. Uh -huh. So as you can see, we say paginae, because this is feminine, so pagina, paginae, but we say capitulum capitula. Yeah? It's a new term. Yeah? It's like opidum opida, exactly the same. So capitulum primum, secundum, tertium, etc. Okay. Imperio Romano es titulus capitili primi. Titulus capitili secundo, eh, secundi es familia romana. In capitulo secundo son sex pagina. So, sex, seis, yeah? Se, six. In pagina prima, capitulo secundi, multa vocabula nova sunt. Vir, femina, puer, quella, familia, etc. Numerus vocabulorum, latinorum, magnus est. Hmm. Entonces, en lengua latina hay muchas páginas y muchos uh -huh. capítulos. El primer uh -huh. capítulo, segundo, tercero, uh -huh. y el cuatro o otros capítulos. Others, otros, yeah, capítulos, otros. Uh -huh. otros. El Imperium Romanum es el primer capítulo. Uh -huh. El segundo capítulo es familia romana. Uh -huh. Uh, el segundo capítulo es uh -huh. seis páginas. Exacto, hay seis páginas. Hay seis páginas. Okay, seis notice páginas. something here interesting. Notice how now you have an O here. This is because of this. So many times after preposition, you're going to have a different case, a different ending, mm -hmm. which we call ablative. Mm -hmm. So this is what happens when you have a preposition many times, like in capitulo secundo. But if you remove the in, you will say capitulus secundus. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, sorry, capitulum secundum with an M, yeah? Mm -hmm. But in this case, because of the, this, you use the ablative case, yeah? Uh, okay, and here the same. This is the same case. That's why you have this macron here. Yeah. So in pagina prima, mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hurry, hurry. Eh, en, en la primera página uh-huh. del capítulo. Uh-huh. Uh, segundo. Segundo, ya. Yeah. Uh-huh. Segundo. Mm, hay. Hay. Mm, hay muchos muchas nuevas palabras. Uh-huh. Hombre, mujer, yes. niño, niña, familia, otros. Okay. Y otros, o etc. Uh-huh. Hay... El número. El número de palabras en... ¿Latinas? La, el número de palabras latinas es grande. Uh-huh. Easy, busy. Ok. I'll practice this. Ok, before that, let me review uh-huh. a little bit. Página. Ok, this is the... Wait a moment. 17. Uh-huh. So we'll take a look at the um, pensum, yeah? Or exercises, yeah? Uh-huh. Okay, let's talk a little bit about grammar, just a little bit, okay? So as you can see, Latin is a very uh, inflective language, meaning you change the ending a lot. Especially with nouns, you change the ending according to their function. In other words, if they work as a subject, they're going to have a different uh, ending, as if they are the object or they are possessive, etc., etc. So, um, when the word has a subject, we have these three endings. I mean, these are the three main ones, there are other ones, but these are the three we've seen so far. And this is called nominative case, or caso nominativo in Spanish. Yeah? Mm-hmm. When you're talking about possession, we can have the singular and the plural. Yeah? So, this is the plural, uh, sorry, singular. Masculine, said we. This is a possessive for the feminine. Anquila, anquilaro. Yeah? And this orum, aru is always the plural. It's possessive, plural. Okay? So, for example, anquilaro would be of the slaves. Vocabularum would be of the words. Yeah? Uh, That's about it? Do you have any? No, that's about it. Okay. Okay, let me read this a little bit. So, masculino, feminino, neutro. Servo es vocabulum masculino. Anquila es vocabulum feminino. Opidum es vocabulum neutro. Okay. Exempla. So, here we have examples here. Yeah? Vocabula masculina. Filius, dominus, where, vis, fluvius, oceanus. Numerus, liber, titulus, quite a lot of words actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vocabula femenina. Femina, puella, filia, domina, insula, provincia, litera, familia, pagina. It looks like a Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. We'll mm-hmm. And neutral, they all have a UM ending in the singular and an A in the plural. So, opidum. Imperium, vocabulum, capitulum, exemplum, pensum. Pensum is like exercise. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at the genitive or the possessive case. So, uh, Julius Dominus Servi. So, Servi would be possessive, singular. Yeah? So, uh, Julius is the master of the slave. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And the plural would be servorum. Julius Dominus Servorum Est. So Julius is the master of the slaves plural. Okay? Mm-hmm. So Dawi and Media. Of David and of Medas. Yeah? So Servi, singular. Servorum, plural. Yeah? When you talk about the masculine. Yeah? Let's take a look at the feminine. So, domina anquilae, 
So dominant and key line est. So and key line is of the slave for woman, yeah? Mm -hmm. Anquilarum would be the plural, yeah? Not big deal here. Um, the vocabulary, no, that's all, okay. Uh, let me zoom in. Okay, so you have to give me the right endings, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's try the first one here. Okay, take your time. ¿Quieres que te dé la traducción en español primero? A lo mejor más fácil. No, puedes. Okay. Puede ser, mm -hmm. sí. So, Marcu, Marcus es el hijo de Julius. Marcus, sí. Es Filium, puede ser. Filius. 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 Uno es. Mm -hmm. So, Marcus, Filius, Juli, Est. Mm -hmm. Ok, eh, Julia es la hija de Julius. Filia. Uh, Exacto. Julia, Filia, Juli. Yes. Mm -hmm. Julius es with... With qué? Um, Mm. Romanus. Romanus. Mm. Why? Because this is masculine, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, we Romanus. Mm -hmm. We is like a man, yeah? Hombre. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you say woman in Latin? It's quite easy, actually. So, we Hombre. Mujer. Uh... What? Femina. 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 Mm -hmm. So we're femina. Okay. Um, they are different from dominus. So you have dominus, domina. Mm -hmm. And you have we're and femina. So dominus is like say master or sir or citizen or lord even. Domina is like say mistress. Female citizen, yeah. Mm -hmm. And weird is a man, any man. And femina would be any woman, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, right. So Julius says we Romanus. Okay, next one. Familia femina. Mm -hmm. Romana. Exactly, exactamente. Familia femina romana est. Ok. This one. Julius Dominus. Exactly. Y Amelia Domina est. Exactly. So, Julius Dominus. Amelia Domina est. Mm -hmm. Merus servus graecus es? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Delia es anquila mm -hmm. graeca. Ok, that's what was easy. Anquila graeca, so feminine, yeah? Ok. This was a little bit tricky. Sparta. Uh, Sparta. Opidum. 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 Graecum. Est. Mm -hmm. So you can see the ending changes depending if it's neuter, feminine, or masculine. Yeah? Okay. Good job, by the way. Julius Pater. Est. Um, Marcus. Okay, let me tell you uh, in English. Julius Pater Marco. Okay, el padre de Marcos. So Julius is Marcus's father. 
Marchi. Exactly, Marchi. Marchi. Julius Pater Marchi est. Mm -hmm. Julius Pater Marchi Okay. Hmm. So, Marcos is Ulysses and Emilia's son. So, you need to use the possessive again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or genitive, mm -hmm. as it's called in Latin. Yeah? Genitivus. Yeah? Con U, M, O. So, Yuli. Masculino, yeah, like Marky, yeah, it's the same. So for masculine, uh, we use an I with a macro, yeah. So Yuli, Marky, for woman or feminine now, we use I, yeah, I milii. So Marcus as Filius, Yuli e I milii, yeah, I milii, okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Debería ver la, la página en la pantalla también o está congelada, puede ser? No, no, no. Ah. Está bien, está viéndome. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Porque hay las respuestas, es por eso. Ah, ok, espera un momento. ¿Quieres que me type it? That is. Yeah. Much better, yeah. Ok, medus servus. O oh, creo que es porque por el momento solo veo um, capítulo 2, gramática latina. Ah, wait a moment. Let me do it again. Mm -hmm. Let me do it in pros. Okie dokie. Uh, no. Ok. Ok, ahora sí, que... sí, gracias. Sí, vale, de nada. Entonces, Marcus es Filius, Yuli, et Ameliae. Ok. Medus, Servus. Medus. Servos. Mm. Ahora debería seguir um, lo mismo, ese mismo patrón. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, uh -huh. Julius, medus, servos, Julius. O, o Julius. Okay, this is possession. Uh -huh. Entonces, es Uy. lo mismo, Juli, con I. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, medus, servos, Julius. Medus es el siervo. De Julius. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Julius es Dominus. Julius es Dominus ser. Servi. Sí, Servi. Mm -hmm. Ser Julius es Dominus Servi. Mm -hmm. Servi. Mm -hmm. Julius Dominus Me Medi et, <coughs> et Davi est. Uh -huh. Julius Dominus um, Okay, what about if I want to say more than one uh, slave? Mm -hmm. So if you remember, we have two possession, one for singular, which is E. And Orum, when you talk about more than one pe person or people, yeah? Mm -hmm. So, Julius Dominus Servorum Est. Because now I'm talking about these two guys, yeah? I'm talking about Medus and Davos, yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, that's why here we say Servorum. Mm -hmm. Okay, Numerus. Numerus. Ser, ser, ¿Es servorum otra vez o no? Yeah. Servorum. Uh -huh. Magnus est. Uh -huh. Delia es anquila. 
Delias Aquino Amelio Ameli I Ameli I Okay So when you talk about possession from the feminine you have I mm -hmm. and Arum so obviously there is only one Amelia, so Amelia. Yeah? Delia is Anquila Amelia. Amelia Domina So I'm talking about Delia here. Uh Anquila. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amelia, Amelia Domina. Deliai et Syria est. Okay, now we're going to talk about these two. Entonces, Ame so, Amelia domina Anquilarum mm -hmm. est. Exactly. So, Amelia mm -hmm. is the mistress of the slaves, or the yes, um, female slaves. Okay. Uh, okay, familia. Okay, here you're gonna use Julia. This is actually should be like this. I'm gonna type it with their macro mm -hmm. uh, like this. So, in familia, Julia, this is actually the ablative. Don't worry too much about this. Mm -hmm. So, in familia, Julia is magnus numerus. So we have a big number, obviously we have to use the plural, yeah? Mm -hmm. So? Uh, masculino is... Servo... Servorum. Mm -hmm. Et anki... Et anki larum. Mm -hmm. Emilia mater... Marki. Mm -hmm. Marki. Et. Mm -hmm. Quinti. Mm -hmm. uh, Juli. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Uh, almost finished. Okay. Marcus, Quintus, Ali, Quai, Sund. Liberty, this is children, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they are the children of Julius and Emilia, yeah. Juliorum, there's only one Julius, mm -hmm. so impossible. Oh, <laughs> you, Juli, Juli. Yeah. Yeah. et Amelia, mm -hmm. numerous. Numerus liberi. Okay, uh, should be liberi if you mean that. This is the plural. Mm -hmm. So remember, with the liber, mm -hmm. we say libri for this. So libri could be two things it could be books or it could be of the book. Mm -hmm. If you mean of the books, liberorum, yeah? Of the books, yeah? Mm -hmm. Numerus. Numerus. Ser servorum. Mm -hmm. Servorum is... So literally, is the number of the slaves. Mm -hmm. yeah? That's why we use the plural. Okay, in pagina prima. Capitoli. No, we 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 not talk about. Oh. Capitulo secundo. Secundo. Mm -hmm. Multa vocabula nova sunt. Okay, remember when you say capitoli. You mean of that chapter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Numerus. 
Numerus capitulorum? Yes. Of the chapters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Okay, we're gonna do this one. Uh, this is a bit loose. Okay, here again we have this. Okay, so you have weird. You remember what weird means? Hello? What happened? Uh... Hello? Are you there? Oh, ah, no, no. Hola. <laughs> no pasa nada. Uh... Okay, okay. Can you see this? Sí, sí, lo puedo ver. Sí. Okay, so here we have a few words. So we have weird. Do you remember what weird means? Es uh, hombre. Mm -hmm. Femina. Y es mujer. Mm -hmm. Puer. Um, es, es chico, puede ser. Chico. chico oh. Es chico, sí. Chico, niño. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chico, niño. Y puerla. Entonces esto sería chicas y, y chicas. Mm -hmm. Ok. Viviri, eh, feminae, pueri, puerlae. These are the possessive, okay? So it would be of the boy, of the woman, of the boy, uh, of the man, of the girl, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Marcus, Puer, Romanus, Es, Julia, Est. This one is very easy. So if Marcus is a Roman boy, what is Julia? Pueri. Puella. Puella, Romano. Puella, oh, okay, it's the one. Puella. Julius says we, Romanus, and Emilia. As, um, femina. Femina, Romana. Sorry. Femina. Femina, Romana, Romana. Mm -hmm. Marcus non puella, said. Marcus non puella, said, puer. Mm -hmm. Est. Marcus et Quintus sunt. Okay, this is the plural. Pueri. Uh, pueri. Pueri. Okay. Remember this pueri can be two things. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit confusing actually. So pueri can be boys in as in plural, or it could be of the boy when you talk about one boy. An object mm -hmm. of a boy, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can you tell? Look at the verb. Mm -hmm. So here we have soon. It's plural, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the same happened with puella. It could be two things. It could be girls, or it could be of the girl. Okay. Um, quinque. Julius and Medius not pueri said. Um, puer. So they are not boys, mm -hmm. but. Ah, uh, a viri? Viri, yes. Viri, viri. Mm -hmm. Viri. That was quoque. Weird. Mm -hmm. Not viri said, mm -hmm, soon Emilia et Delia. Feminae. Exactly. Feminae, so domina. Sura quoque uh, fem femina. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, okay, this one is a little bit more difficult. Okay. Julius Pater Est. Emilia Est. The opposite, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, mater. Mater. Julia Filia es Marcus et Quintus sont Filia Fili 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 Hijos mm -hmm. Could be 
like this. Philly. Marcus, a Quintus, a Julia, Sun, Tres. Okay, what do you call them when they are mixed up together? So when you have Philia, et Philly, what do you call that in, in Latin? No, 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 it's not the same. It's not the same. Liberty. Okay, so liberty would be like children in English. Mm -hmm. So in Spanish, you say hijos. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. But in Latin, um, you will have this word when you, when you mean both daughters and sons together. Yeah. So literally, it's like free people. Yeah. Liberty. So liberty also means like a free person. So, mm -hmm. uh, cuatro. Cuatro. Julian on Mate said. So if she's not the mother, mm -hmm. what is she? Uh, filia. Filia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Filia. Not Pate said. Crazy as well. Uh, filius. Mm -hmm. It's Marcus. Okay, now it's getting more difficult. Marcus, Filius, Yuli est. Julius es pater. Mm, Marcus. Marqui. Marqui. Ok. ¿Qué significa esta frase? Número 6. Um, Julius es el padre de Marco. Uh -huh. So Marco es el hijo de Julius y Julius es el padre de Marcos. Uh -huh. Quintus Filius Julius es. Julius es pater. Quinti. Mm -hmm. yeah. Julia Filia Julia est. Julius es pater. So I want to talk about Julia now. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Marcus et Quintus Fili Amelia es sunt. Amelia es mater. Marqui. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, eh? Mm. Way too easy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Ya te acostumbrará. Al principio parece un poco lioso, pero una vez que lo entiendes, ah, es muy fácil. Sí, todavía queda mucho camino. <laughs> pero bueno, hemos aprendido muchísimo, aunque no lo creas. Um, Julia filia Amelia est. Emilia es mater. Emilia es mater. Yuli. Julia. We talk about Julia, ¿ya? Yeah? Ah, oh, Julia femenina, sí. Uh -huh. Julia femenina. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Julia es filia. Julia et Emilia. Ah, oh, no, 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 wait a moment. Oh, no. okay. I'm talking about the father here. Yuli. Uh, so, Yuli is the father in the family. So, the daughter is named after the father here, okay? So, the daughter is called Yulia, and the father is Julius. Yeah? Um. So, she is the daughter of Julius and Emilia. Yeah? So that's why you leave, oh, yeah? Okay, you talk yeah. about the father, yeah? Sí, yeah, sí, yeah. Mm -hmm. It cannot be her own daughter, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> because she is Julia, yeah? So. Um, Julius is pater. Uh, Julius is pater. Marquis. Mm -hmm. And Quinti. Yeah, and the daughter? And Julia. Mm -hmm. There you are. Uh, mater. Mater. Marqui at Quinti at Julia. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Emilia. Okay. Good job. Okay. We're going to take a look. Uh, 
Okay, we're gonna do a little bit. Okay, so you have to answer this question. So, for example, so you understand. Oops. Okay. Now, okay. Quiz says Quintus. So, wait a moment. So we have the family here. Let me mm -hmm. show you again. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, actually, I have it here. Uh, okay, this is the family. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. so this is the father, the mother, the daughter, and the two uh, brothers yeah, here. Mm -hmm. So, here, uh, where are you? Oh, here you are. So, quiz is Quintus. So, quiz is Quintus. So, you say Quintus. Uh, Filius Juli Est. Yeah. Yeah. Let me type it here. Mm -hmm. Quintus Filius Juli. I don't know. There you are. Est. So Quintus Filius Filius. So Quinto Filio Iuliest, yeah? So Quinto is, uh, is Iulius's son, yeah? Okay. Now here we have the plural, yeah? Qui, yeah? Qui sunt medus and davus. Let me show you. So medus and davus. So they are two slaves, yeah? Mm -hmm. So for example, you can tell me that the slaves of Iulius. Mm -hmm. How will you say that? Mm, medus et davus. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the slaves, bro. Servi mm -hmm. of Julius. Servi. Mm -hmm. Yui. Exactly. Sunt. So, Sunt. Medus et tabus. Okay, let me type it with this. Servi tabus. Servi. Yui. E. Sunt. Okay. Servi. Yui. Okay, Marcus ne quoque servus iuli est? So, what does this mean? Is Marcus, is Marcus also a slave of... So, mm -hmm. let me show you the picture. So here you have Marcus. Mm -hmm. So is this guy his slave? No. Mm -hmm. So, no. No. So, Marcus. Marcus. S net. Okay. So non Marcus. So what is Marcus? Ah. S. Ah. Filius. S. Filius. Filius. Ah. Not Marcus. Filius. Mm hmm. Davo. No. Yuli. Ah, Yuli. Marcus. <laughs> Marcus. Mm -hmm. Filius, Filius, Iuliu, Iulii, Est. Yeah? Marcus is Iulius's son. Yeah? As far as we know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Cuius Filia is Iulia. Uh, Do you remember this Cuius? The mm -hmm. si. uh... So the quien is Julia hija. See? The quien is Julia hija. Julia. Mm -hmm. See, Julia is. So Julia is this one, yeah, the girl. Mm -hmm. So you could say it's the daughter of Emilia and Julius, for example, yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Julia S. So, Julia. Julia Filia. Mm -hmm. Julia. Mm, Juli. Juli. Sí. Juli. Juli. Amelia Est. 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 Julia, Juliet, Amelia Est. Ok, last question. Quod liberi sunt in familia Juli? Ok, let me show you. Quod liberi sunt in familia Juli et a Emilia? Tres liberi sunt. Tres liberi sunt. Tres liberi sunt. Exactly. Okay, this one. Okay, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember the the number of slaves in the family? Ah, tres o cuatro, no sé. A hundred. Oh, o cuatro. A hundred. Okay, okay. Hundred. So you will say. Uh, in familia centum servi sunt. In familia centum servi sunt. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me explain this num to you. So this num is when you say, is this not, or it's like you expect a, a negative, yeah? Mm -hmm. So num sura domina est. So sura. Is this one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, nun sida domina est. Do you understand? Mm. So, who is the um, the woman of the house? This one, yeah, obviously. So, nin sida domina est. So you can say no, she is she is a slave, yeah, or. Non. Sura. Sura. Anquila est. Anquila est. Mm -hmm. Okay, quae est domina anquilarum. So, quae, qui, quiz is the same word in English, is who, yeah, who. Mm -hmm. So, this is feminine, yeah. Anquilar, what is this? Anquilaru. Esclava. De las esclavas. De las esclavas, sí. So, quae est domina anquilaru? Sirae et deliae. Emilia. Emilia domina sirae. Et deliae anquilarum est. Ya? Ya está? Si solo necesito tiempo para procesarlo. I know, I know. So, anquilar would be of the slaves. Talk about feminine slaves, like girl slaves. Ya? Esne Cornelius Will Graecus? Cornelius? I don't remember Cornelius. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Cornelius Will Graecus Est. Okay. Nun puella vocabulum masculinum est. <laughs> this one is a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. So puella. What is Puebla? Es chicos. Exactly. So do you think that's a masculine noun in Latin? No. Non Puebla vocabulum masculinum non es. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Let me... I'm going to just use slightly this one. Uh... Okay, I'm going to introduce a new concept slightly for the next lesson, mm -hmm. which is the, called the accusative. Okay. 
Um, at the moment. Okay, let's take a look at this sentence. So, Marcus Julian Pulsat. Yeah? Marcus Julian Pulsat. Can you notice something weird here? Yeah? So, why do we have this M? Okay, let me explain this one to you. Mm -hmm. So, in Latin, the ending of the words tells you the row of the word in the sentence, yeah? Not the order, like in English. So, this is the image, yeah? So, Marco is the boy. Julian is the girl. So, her name is Julia. Pulsa is the verb, yeah? So, she is the one getting <laughs> the punch, yeah? So, that's why you have an M. Oh. So, when you have this M, it means the person is receiving the action. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't worry too much about this, if you don't understand. Let me give you another example. So here we have Quintus, and here we have Marcus. So he sees Marcus, so Marcus is the one receiving the action. So notice here the M here, mm -hmm. Quintus Marcum with it. Yeah? Let me give you another example of this. So Quintus Iratus Est. Et Marcum Pulsat. Yeah? <laughs> so you, you're going to see that in Latin you're going to have this M when it's, the person is receiving the action or it's the direct object of the sentence. Yeah? You could change the order easily. You could also say, for example, here, Quintus Marcum Pulsat. You could simply say Marcum Quintus Pulsat. I wouldn't change a bit. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, do you understand that one? Mm -hmm. Too much to process. <laughs> Don't worry. This is most a pre lesson for next lesson. Oh. Okay, so you. Okay, I suggest you give it a read. Okay, you can read through. Try to guess, more or less. I will see it next week, okay? Mm -hmm. Páginas 19. Yeah, es, eh, yeah, capítulo. Ter, yeah, puede improvus. Bad boy. Capítulo tertium. Mm -hmm. Página. Unde, unde vigésimo. So 19. Yeah? Mm -hmm. By the way, you can listen to this. You can. On YouTube, you can. You, you have people reading this book. Okay, so. If maybe you are like me, you prefer to listen to the story. Mm -hmm. sí. It's up to you. Okay? Mm -hmm. this, is, this one is quite easy, actually, as you can see. It's like a small story I'll talk about uh, the children doing whatnot. Yeah? Anyway, um, okay, so I'll see you next week. I will upload this so you can rewatch it in case you want, okay? Perfecto. Learn English with Javi Fontalba, the place where you can learn English. www.classgap.com slash en slash tutor slash Javi dash Fontalba. Please follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Subscribe and share. See you soon.